think it's okay to crunch and eat just as the stream is starting until I know we're live. Which, uh, now that we're locked in and live, fuck it, set everything over there, and I welcome everybody back in to the live stream let's play of The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, that's right, that's right, now we're on air, good, and because whence we last left you, we were building a house. And we were also in the middle of, uh, it's been a couple, I don't know, a week or so, probably two weeks, since we last really played this. So. So, yeah. We can get right back into it. Ooh, what, uh, mission do I have locked in here? I don't even remember. Find the source of power in Valthum. And kill, dude, let's go kill a giant first, that's nothing. Ancient Nordic pickaxe, what? And also, what's our carrying capacity? 181, that's fine. So, with more people piling in, let's go kill us a motherfucking giant, yo. Motherfucking giant. I mean, he ain't that big. Fuck him. Badass dark elves, dude. I like that outfit, too. I'm telling you, black and red is like. Probably the best... When you're going for evil, it's like the best color combo. It's all about deception. It's all about passion. It's all about hatred. Oh, jeez, I'm in the way of my own stuff. Now, we're good. We're good here. Oh, shit. You didn't see nothing. You did not see not a nair. Nothing. Oh... Oh, oh, I killed him in two shots. It's awesome. Oh boy, here comes his brother. But that was... A for realsies. Oh boy, he hit me. Like, I already heard the sound effect. Oh, do you know I uh, shield? Ah! Oh, motherfucker. There, I want to stand up normal. Ah! Oh, blocking. I'm blocking. You can't really hurt me. Damn it. Ah! There we go. Wait, how is my blocking right now? Because I don't know. Light armor's pretty good. Blocking 85, you said. Huh? Ah! There it is. There we go. Block some more. Come on. Ah! Come get you some. Take that power swing. Yeah! Not that one, you dummy. Yeah! Or maybe the stomp was the good one. I don't know. Ah! 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 That hurt. Kind of. But I keep blocking so it doesn't really hit. Come on, fella. Boost me up here, Johnny. We'll take care of him soon. Alright, if that's all you're gonna do is stop, I need to get further away. Like, for realsies. Alright, buddy, come on. Now do something. There you go. Make it hurt. Not the stomping, I think that's weaker. Son of a bitch, take a swing. Don't you fucking stomp! Come on now. There you go, take some swings. Come on, go get you some. Well, you see, I keep backpedaling. Means you need to lunge. There you go, tough guy. What you got? Yeah, swinging. That's a good one. Whoop. Oh boy. Poor oh shit. Oh, that's gotta hurt. You know what? Soul trap time. Fuck this guy. Ready? Ready? Feels so good. I'll take deer hiding a giant's toe and some gold and a pelt. Sure as shit I will. And the actual motherfucker I was supposed to kill? A couple of hides, more toes and pelts and stuff. The dwarven greatsword. You can 
fuck off with that shit. Give me the nightshade. I don't think mountain flower... Eh, you know, I'll take some, but I don't remember if it's really good for anything. It's good for nothing. So now this uh, motherfucker's dead. Well, let's check the next little side questy thing. I'm not gonna collect the bounty yet. What about the, the ancient Nordic pickaxe? Where... we have no clue. Really? That's... that's just... Oh, maybe that's back in the DLC area. I don't quite remember, but... Can't do that now. The source of power and Valthum! We'll go check on that shit, then. Why not? Somewhere over in this direction, and... Oh, no! How the hell do I get there? Well, I'm gonna start off going here. Bard's Leap Summit. It is a summit, not the summit. Vapor Trails! Mike is bald! You started playing League of Legends yesterday. Awesome! Hey, welcome in, Vapor Trails, to the live stream Let's Play of Skyrim. You know, I never started up League of Legends. I know it's big. I know it is a... It is a happening. As Gorilla Monsoon would say. It is a happening. Yes, well, who doesn't love gold? Yes, all people should love it. Am I, like, running into somebody here? I am not. That was really weird. There should be a lot of people around here, though. Can I paint their... their vinkies gold now? Or did he say you hoos You hoos His vinky is a key. Can I paint their you hoos gold now? It's kind of my thing. How about now, you crazy Dutch bastard? I love the look that Goldfinger gives him there. Gold member, excuse me. Gold potion, potion, potion. Dutch hater. Ah. <laughs> Melberries! Welcome into the live stream Let's Play of Skyrim. And she says, Yo, man, I saw you have a cool new Facebook friend. Um, might be my boss. Because <laughs> he finally, like, I. Put out that friend request a couple weeks ago! Or unless there's somebody new that I just don't know about. Anyway, um... Vapor Trails likes League of Legends better than PUBG. Player Unknown's Battleground, for those who don't know what that is. Um, it runs very well on your laptop. The ping is 20 MS for that game. Oh yeah, the other, that's right, the other Facebook friend I have, some little Buster Brown. Some little dog who farts a lot. We are Facebook friends. That happened the other day. Most recently, though, it was my boss, which I don't know, maybe he's gassy too, I don't quite know, and I'd rather not find out. But... Sure, an iron ore vein, I'll take this. Start hacking into it. Ping for League of Legends is 20, which is great. You see, ping raids and all that shit, I, I'm no tech wizard, look at me. New headset! That's about all I got right now. I mean, I will soon... ...get, like, a supercomputer! So I can hopefully start streaming big boy style through, like, a bunch of... ...you know... ...capture card, capture device something, and, you know... ...you know, just be really cool, like the cool kids can do. It's like my work schedule now... It's good, but like on my days off, which have lately been the weekends, might change. Things are, it's always fluid, I know that. But uh, the way things might go. Oh shit, look at that. We can't possibly hide from this motherfucker. What are you guys doing? It's a troll battle. This is awesome. How about you? You want some? Oh, fuck, two hits? You didn't kill shit here, troll boy. Look at that. Stab you through the mouth. Soul capture. Give me your fat parts. These guys went after each other, and we're not even hitting each other. That's, uh... Oh, good for them. MVT! Woo! Working on the railroad? Oh, yes, I am. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome into the livestream Let's Play of Skyrim. Railroad? No, this is not Fallout 4. We are not with the, uh, with the railroad. <laughs> but I don't get the reference. I was singing Michael Jackson's Beat It. To the, to the trolls trying to kill each other. Oh no, me at the fucking iron ore vein. Good lord, now I get it. Jesus Christ. Hi, my name's MJ. I play video games and I know what you're talking about. You're better off than I am. Good news is I've located this place, and there's the front door. Give me some hanging moss. Oh, I actually went live for traffic reports today. Yay. I went live for the 8 o'clock and the 8.30 traffic reports on News Radio 610 WIOD. It was fun. First live. Everything else has been recorded. Anyway. Paper Trails doesn't trust a shit book. I'm not sure what shit book Please is. Oh my god. Danger. What is this? Evil stirs in this place. If evil stirs in this place, I'm I belong. for the security of the very land if it should break free. Internet is quite fast, to be honest. 150, 300 MBs. Very fast. Death Claws, kind of. They're trolls. They're literal trolls. <laughs> Battle of the Trolls. And Malberry's had to make a damn clip of it. Saw the pickaxe hitting the rock and immediately thought of spiking the tracks. Oh, yeah. MJ Pie with MJ in the sky. Yep. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Because I don't know what game I'm playing. Leave, stranger. Alrighty, Pi, uh, eye in the sky! In place. <laughs> I fear for the security Watch out between the corner and fifth land. and main because I'm gonna be sick! <laughs> That's the one thing I remember him for was throwing up on auto. Alright, Mr. Sun, show me what you got. We stand at the tomb. Alright, I don't know what this guy's uh, even talking about. Now, we don't even pay attention to the story at this point. You I will help you what must be done. Boom. Lead the way, ethereal guy. What do I don't care. If it should break I'm just gonna sneak, walk through these thin cobwebs. They're spider webs, they're not even cobwebs. Damn it, Woodhouse, if this place isn't clean, I'm gonna have you eat cobwebs. Are they internet trolls? Well, kind of. I mean, they, they were apparently just, like in some kind of a fight and uh, weren't hurting each other. Only I can kill them. I don't know. There's a lot of great Simpsons characters. He had about 20 lines through 20 seasons. None are memorable, but the character is. And I mean, part of like, yeah, what was it? Artie Pie or Arnie Pie? Your eye in the sky! And, and uh, like, not even used. Like, I get in the early episodes when like, no, I was not up in a helicopter for my traffic reports, by the way, but, uh... Yeah, it's like, that was very timely for, kind of, the, the 90s, and, you know... Oh, well, let's get a live look at traffic, we got our own guy up in the fucking chopper, and... I mean, we do that, but... It doesn't seem like it's a big thing anymore. Like, back when they were doing that, yeah, yeah, get one of our fucking news people, or our radio people up there. And they'll give us a live traffic report as the fucking whatever. The turnpike is a wreck. Major highways. Wonder what happens if I step here. Wait, so I step on this one, the one down the hall die like activates. Okay. And killed him. So that's fun. I'll take your seven gold. Fucking dead guy. Arnie. 20th versus 21st century tech. Yep. You think he sees me? Soul trap. Told you. You're a fucking joke, Mr. Draugr. There's no chance for you to stay alive. Don't know the accent, really. I'm just going with it. Don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's the kicker. When the fuck do I know what I'm talking about? Or when? Or anything? Can't even tell a fucking joke. I'm stumbling over my own words. It's fucking terrible. I think that's French. <laughs> tomorrow is election day, my man. Alright, well, what's up with election day tomorrow? Because I vote no. 
don't care what the fuck. Who do you think is gonna win the sheriff? No. No. I vote no. For anybody questioning that, they can fuck off with that shit. See, I want that specter thing to roll back this way. I'll, uh, I'll kill him. I think this guy in the chair is probably gonna be, uh, trying to get under my skin. Not to highlight the baldness, but that's a great Halloween costume for work. You can just swing that shift, uh, they can use a copter. Sure. I can do all kinds of shit like that. You know, like, three people would know what it is, but... Bam! Snipe the guy in the throne. Look at this guy. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Somebody's dead. Oh, don't get too close a look, though. Don't get too close of a look. Oh, he's tough, huh? Oh, fuck sticks. Where are they gonna come up now? I think right in front of me. Jeez. I got my sword. Yeah, here we go. Come this way. Oh! Alright, you want some? Oh, I gotta kill him somehow. I'm all, like, stunned and shit. Alright, let's turn around. Not be in, like... There we go. Barely got that one. I don't know how long Soul Trap stays on him, but that was close. 16 pounds at $1,400. Not that we need the money, but may as well. And yes, Merry Christmas Vapor Trails, absolutely. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, is it a Merry Kwanzaa? I'm not even sure. And a Festivus for the rest of us. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, it's only November 6th. Kid, you're jumping the gun way too much. Don't do that. I mean, you gotta show the girl that you're interested, you don't just whip it out. I mean, he's up there, he's up. Oh, I didn't want that petty soul gem. Matter of fact, I'll find it and throw it back in the chest. And you can fuck off with that shit. Cannot equip, so I put it back. Alright, good. Don't need it. Look at this guy, he's doing so good on his throne, and I shot him perfectly above the fucking eyeball. That's a pretty good shot from that distance. I'm proud of that. Proud of that shot. And again, what was with that ethereal specter that was over here? Like, up the way. Oh, oh trap door, look at you! Trying to be all tricky. And trap people. Um, is there a way up there? Or something? It does this go around the corner. This does not. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I gotta jump, huh? Uh, there we go. Can I get there from here, though? You know, I probably could. Let me just, uh... What? Yeah. Nah! Can blast our way to the fucking yes. Blast our way to the fucking yes. 14 pounds. 750 for it. Was that an ebony shield? Good stuff. Arrows gold. Good enough for me. Yeah, with that ethereal specter. I seem to have woken up everybody. Well, they're probably down the trap door. I bet you. I bet you. And they sound like pitas. We did see a lot of webbing as we got in here. What do we got? Crazy Kwanzaa! I'll go with that. And Robonica. I don't know Robonica. Does not compute. <laughs> I was snacking earlier. You know what? I could throw that out. And a very solemn and dignified Ramadan. I forgot about Ramadan, too. I don't know if it falls around the same, like, you know, end of the Gregorian calendar year that we're all dealing with, but... Because, you know, like, the Chinese calendar, the year is, like, 6,000 or some shit, like, they're... Pff, you whiteies, what do you know? A lot of spiders. Oh, hold on a second. They'll capture souls from beyond a door. That's pretty cool. And if I let my damn magic burst up, 
I don't think they could see me through the door. I know, I know about Futurama. For Christ's sakes, I vegged and watched the whole thing. I Netflixed it. And I was chilling by myself. How do they know I'm still here? I'm hiding. Behind a closed door. I'm still waiting for my... Where's my magic bar down here? Wait for that. Come on, show me. Show me. Show me a potato salad. Oh, they're starting to disappear again. Eight legs, no brains. Bunch of fucking idiots, you know? Ramadan. Do 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 do. Ramadan. Do 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 do. Ramadan. I know that's not what it's from. Hey, buddy. So capture. All right, y'all, just fuck out with this. Stab you. You literally did the same thing to me a year ago. How long will I do this to myself? But as far as what, Robonica? Yeah, I know. I mean, I give you credit for staying around for that long. Jesus, I can't stand being around myself. <laughs> oh, search the egg sack. Oh, look at this. This is a... Just a hanging corpse. I get, there's no loot. There's no shit. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Come here. Come this way. Walk this way! Fuck your life! And soul captured. Woo woo! What do you got on you? Gold? I don't want a key. I'd rather pick a fucking lock, yo. Expert, see that's why. Oh. It's alright, we kinda got the starting point. It's gonna be over this direction. As opposed to an erection. Otherwise we'll be straight up. And not off to the side like this. There we go. Pick the shit out that lock! Mm -hmm. Take some bleeding crowns. Sounds like a dental problem. Oh, my crowns are bleeding. Well, Jesus fuck, man. We better just bring you out to the pasture now and shoot you. Not gonna be able to eat no goddamn grains. Damn it. Melberries is a true fan. Got a whole fucking spooky ass shrine and all that good stuff. That's dedication. Hmm. Is there a tripwire here? Doesn't mean those those lanterns are clearly gonna fall. Granted, there's no uh, pits of oil for them for them to fall into. God, this new headset is totally just killing my scalp skull. Hey, a woodcutter's axe! Good thing I don't need one anymore! Motherfucker. I honestly don't need one. Let's go to that place and just buy all their fucking lumber. Good to see that you are back. Yeah, yeah, gimme. Here's five bucks, go fuck yourself. Gotta treat them like Tollbooth Willy. Oh, that was a potato. I thought that was gonna be like a rock warbler egg. Wither shins! Well, doesn't matter to me. It's a book worth 55. So at one pound, it'll be worth its weight. Still in sneaky sneak mode because I'm sneaky. I noticed Malloy wore sneakers for sneaking. All right, betcha. Betcha, I stand on this and they all fall. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Fuck those rats. Skeevers, excuse me. They're fucking rats. Little sons of bitches. Alright, bone meal. Ooh, ingot. I'll take some ingot. Do I want, like, like skeever tail? Nah, it's just, that's, nah. 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 Now keep in mind, this is a side quest way down the miscellaneous line. Unless that guy talked to me and it turned into something new. Nope. Alright. Find out the source of power in this place. Buddy. Well, he's a grandia. Huh? 
Stay looking that way. Well, killed him in one shot. And it was a Death Lord. Alright. 17 pounds. Well, for now we're okay. An opaque vessel. Ooh, collect three vessels. Are they full of anything? Like, I could go for a shot myself. I find myself not eating a lot when I'm at work. Not that that's by design, it's just we're always doing something because South Florida traffic is fucking terrible. Even when there's not much going on, there's somebody out there, broken down car, something, you know? So there's always something going on. So it's like, I never really, like, we don't get lunch breaks. We don't, it's just find time to snack up when you can. And though I, you know, had opportunities earlier, I did eat, like, one meal. <laughs> but otherwise, I just had a little bit when I, uh, just got home here. I'm still snacking on a carrot. A big fucking carrot, too. Organic, by the way, but you knew that. And I don't like to be the person who's, like, eating on stream. But I'm not gonna throw away the butt of that carrot, the rest of that celery. Mm -mm. Oh, what did I miss? That's insane. What exactly is insane? Your entire eight-hour shift is a lunch break. Oh, that's insane. Of living in a city, you can take out the time to actually eat, though, right? Yeah, I can. It's just stuff was going on, and plus, like everybody has said, I got hired. It was pretty much thrown to the wolves. Stand up, motherfucker! There we go. Because I was hired, having no previous actual production, like, work ever, like, yeah. I mean, in radio, it's like, oh, he's our producer, I'm not your producer, I'm the guy that's just pressing the button, making sure your microphone is on, making sure you get into a commercial break on time, making sure the break is, you know, four minutes and has all the correct commercials playing within it, like, I'm more of a on-the-spot coordinator, I was not a producer, I didn't produce anything, I didn't line up guests, I, you know, it wasn't a fucking big boy. Like, okay, a movie producer is different than a cameraman and an audio engineer. Uh, look at it in that context. So I had no previous production work. And then I come into, you know, boring-ass fucking from AM radio. You know, sure, running a ball game, that's fine and dead, but I'm not, I'm not the producer. Technical operator working an audio board. A board operator. A board op. Okay, that's what they would call it. Not the most romanticized word, but, like, there's a lot of downtime in in most radio formats. But then you get into traffic, and a lot of people around me have said, like, no, dude, they threw you to the wolves. Like, you've never done this before, and you're training for, like, production? Like, you're gonna be the guy. You're gonna be a, a producer here. Um, yeah, that's pretty fucking wild, the fact that they've had you do all of this shit with no prior training. And, you know one week into it. Oh, yeah, start doing this. And the kid next to me is like, dude, that for me was like three weeks to even think about, you know, whatever, uh, doing a, a pre-recorded report. It's like, and that's the simple shit, a pre-recorded report. You can edit the fuck out of that thing. No problem. And they're telling me like, yeah, man, like, you got thrown into the goddamn fire. Like, we needed somebody, yes. But... They kind of... It feels like they hired me out of necessity, not not based on, on previous... Oh, no, I'm incredibly lucky and thankful, but... It's just the way it is. But now because things get a little hectic, and I'm still being trained, I'm still being taught new things along the way. Uh, so that, that was part of the spiel that I took off on. But, uh... Because of that, like, yes, I do have time to eat, but it's not like... You know, the, the shit job that I have it, that I had in retail. That was, you need to take a, a, a scheduled, a mandatory 30-minute break by your sixth hour of being on the clock. Now, that sounds very fucking 
stupid to me. I've never had a job like that in my life. You have to take a scheduled fucking 30 minute break before your sixth hour of being on the clock. I've never heard of such a thing. It's, I've had factory jobs. I wasn't even in the union. I was a temporary worker. And they didn't do that. Just like, no, just eat when you gotta fucking eat, man. It's like, we're on. If the, if the machines go fucking haywire, we gotta be there. So you put down your fucking sandwich, we gotta go back to work. That's my mindset. It's like, no, you go way the fuck over to the cafeteria, and you punch out, and you take some time out, and you do all this. No, we never did that. Ooh, that's a good 138. Woo! So no, same thing in radio, pretty much. Well, same thing with traffic, pretty much. It's like, find time to catch your, to catch your food. You know, if you can snack up, first thing when you get it, whatever. Sometimes they will, like, uh... I mean, we work in radio. So we're, we're kind of getting pampered and throwed a lot of shit. Like somebody, oh, there's a new fucking sponsor, blah, 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 for whatever. and Or there's a new live show. And they were kind enough to fucking order pizza for, like, everybody. It's like, oh, that's fun, that's cute. But beyond that, it's like... Not me. Not doing it. But anyway. Um, how do you have a non-organic carrot? No, this is organic. Sorry. The carrot's organic, the celery is not. That's a good crunch, too. Technician? Yeah, I'll go with technician. Operator? Yeah, that'll work. MJ admitted you're kind of amazing and great at everything. Getting there. Getting there. I'm not quite yet a big deal, though. Wait, couldn't the Giants toe mix with a couple of things that were like fucking amaze balls? I mean, it's gotta be part of that. And if that goes 105, let's just make two of those. Uh huh. Uh huh. What does this red mountain flower do? Restore magic, fortify magic, ravage magic, damage health. Sure. That's nothing. Hold on to it. You have to catch your food? Yeah. Like a... Like a squirrel dive bombing, like a flying squirrel dive bombing from tree to tree, you have to catch your food. Yes. I heard myself say that. Catch your meals when you can kind of thing. So nothing doing here, and what else? Um, oh, what's the difference between a technician and a producer, or a technician and an operator? Because a technician and an operator is the same thing. You're just, you push the buttons. You're not the one that's like, you're not, uh, like, you're not, pr not, not producing, that's a stupid word for a producer. <laughs> uh, you're not conducting the interviews, that's usually the host. The producer may schedule them. They'll contact the people like, Hey, are you available Wednesday about... You know, the, the new tax hike that the mayor wants to do involving education, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sure, what time? Well, we're looking to get that interview piece. Uh, are you available around 7.30 in the morning? Yes, okay, well, here's the contact number. Our people will call you, or you can call us, whatever. If, if you got a landline, that'd be great, etc., etc. That's the producer. A lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. The technician, the operator, said maybe I have to call them when the time comes, if they haven't called us. And, uh, it's like, hey, yeah, blah, 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 here to call for the show, you talk to our producer, yeah, okay, good. And I know there's a spider coming. But, uh, yeah, then you put them on hold, then you punch them through onto the live line, you fire them up, the host is already talking on the microphone like a some bitch. And you're, yeah, you're, you're doing good. All I did was push buttons. Now, you have to have good timing. I mean, it's not like playing Parappa the Rapper, but... I seriously killed that spider with one fucking arrow. Hey, little fella. Are you mad? Hey, little fella. He... Clipped through the ground, he's gone. He fell into the void. Son of a bitch. No meaning just different pesticides on celery, not the carrot. Yeah, yeah, the celery has pesticides on it. It wasn't that big, so it's not like it was shot up with fucking uh horse steroids, but it's got a good crunch to it. 
and being on my vegan diet, you know, as opposed to a bacon double cheeseburger, this is better for me. Where did that one little motherfucker go? I shot him and he absolutely fell through the stairs. Can I at least get the arrow back? God damn it. The answer is probably not. Oh well. How did these spiders leave this skeleton, like, untouched here? I mean, there's blood. They would have venomized the fuck out of that guy. Big time. And there's more text. Let me get that at two. Organic has no GMOs, correct. Although you can't find GMOs in non-organic food, I do believe. Those are organic, like I said, if it's sprayed with pesticides to keep the bugs off of it. Well, it's non-GMO. But not organic. Check me if I'm wrong there, but that's my understanding of it. Silver necklace, hmm. Somebody else just stand up, I'm hearing footsteps. Oh, see, I'll bet you he's already up and walking around. Yes, he is. Oh. He'll come back. Well, he kind of got half cut. Gold, alright. Organic, you know, organic meats. Yeah, like, I used to eat a lot of organic beef and chicken. Didn't I realize most vegetables have GMOs? Yeah, like, corn, in and of itself, is not what it should be. Corn itself is pretty much a... has been genetically modified over the years. Like, it's part of, like, the... If I read it correctly, and I could be wrong here, or maybe that was cauliflower, so it's, it's like, part of the the mustard seed family. And, like, that's how picture... I don't know what mustard seed would look like. Probably, like, on a vine or some shit. Really thin, sesame seed-looking crap. Like, that's kind of what... That's what cauliflower and corn should almost be. And it's been altered. We've altered the food. Soil and green is indeed people. People can be tasty, though. Shot in the back, and you're... Nah, oh, whatever. I can't fucking... I'm not gonna try singing it. Fuck you, Soul Trap. 22 pounds for 1,400 bucks. Get some gold here. Celery gone, carrot still going. Huh? Big some bitch. Um, you know what you mean? The time you did AV in high school and college, yeah. And yeah, like I said, it's not like Parappa the Rapper timing. It's just knowing the flow of how the show is running, knowing what sounders you're using. If you know, news radio six ten W I O D. Like that's a little liner. You can push the button to have that thing go. All your sound effects, your hot page, if you're familiar with that. It's like all that shit. And now I'm way down, son of a bitch. So I got all this good stuff, man. Dude! 20 pounds overweight. I'm just a fucking porker here, huh? Twenty-six pounds. Jesus. Okay, sixteen for fourteen. This is not worth its weight. Just based on the look at that. Ten pounds lighter and the difference in dollars, if you will. Not as massive. About a hundred. Oh, what do we got here? You know, I have a ball. Perhaps you'd like to bounce it. That's eh, another Simpsons reference. How's my magic doing right now? Shh. 
show me. God damn it. Damn it. Oh, there it is. Good, good, good. Oh, shit. I don't care about GMOs. You're chunking ready to get funky. There you go. Down with some funky. Making sure people don't touch the mics. Making sure they're speaking into the fucking microphone. Oh, my God. I love when people... Oh, God, radio. That's, that's fun. Yeah, I want to do the show. I want to be a... I want to be a guest. It's like you need to talk into the microphone. Don't... Like, your eyeballs do not control where... Where all that shit happens, okay? Because, like, if... If, if I'm looking this way, if that's where the... If that's where... The... The host is... And I have somebody over here that I'm talking to, like another my sidekick, my partner in crime and business. The microphone's still here. I need to maybe take the fucker and direct it with my like they don't get it. It's like microphone. Right, bring it to you. Can't hear you. Talk into the mic. And then and then they'll like lean in really close to it, and then they'll forget about it. It's like it's a fucking microphone. You can take the thing, move it around, keep it in front of your face. Maybe don't like long, solid, hard things like jam down your... Well, whatever, but... It's a microphone. That's my point. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? Mulberries is gonna take off early so she can vote and run. Have a good night? I'll try. I'll catch you down the road, Mulberries. You know where to find us, you know where to stalk for us, and if you miss anything, I'll put it on my YouTube channel, so that way, you won't miss anything, stalker you. I'm surprised, like, uh, geez, we're not even an hour into the stream here. People are jetting out. Fuck. It's not a fun feeling. It's not fun at all. And even so, like, as great as this game is... It's like, I really feel like I'm at a point where, like, I could probably get on to the main quest of things and really just sweep through, like, like nobody's business. But this, I said, was going to be a long-term game. Not quite like MLB The Show 16, where we played a 12-season career as a starting pitcher. That took a while. That took a year and a half. For 12 seasons. But, uh... Yeah, like, this good long-term fucking deal and me considering myself a project gamer this is definitely a project oh shit all I want is that soul trip there you go motherfucker's got more evidence Slicerama and sit the fuck down. Ebony shield, ebony sword. Yeah, I know I'm way down, and I know I can't move. I know that. I know that. Ebony warhammer, thirty pounds is too much. If it was like three thousand dollars, I'd consider it. It's only seventeen hundred. Tell him to go suck a lemon. That shit ain't gonna happen. Already got my stuff. Oh, great sword. Same price, heavier. Drop it. Dude, that ain't worth it. Come on. Come on. That is not... Well, Ebony Warax, you ain't worth it. You can fuck off with that shit. That's probably not worth it. Uh, it's only nine pounds. It's not the fucking end of the world. Four goddamn shields. Where the fuck is he hiding these things? I left that uncomfortable chunk of ebony up my ass. It doesn't even tell time, it just blocks. He's fine. If it blocked things from going into my ass, even the watch, you know, take it for what it's worth. That's what my seventh wife told me. She was a smart woman, other than she divorced me, stupidest mistake of a life. And now she thinks she's got it good. Oh. I assure you, she does not. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are just yelling. Ah. I love the gut shot. 
shot into the spinning fucking backhand. It's kind of sexy. Ebony great sword. No, it's, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I will take a lot of the other things though, especially all the small stuff. Grand soul gems for sure. I think I just gotta be uh, taking grand and greater. This guy's dead. He doesn't need fucking ten gold on him, does he? Hell no. Oh, you use wireless mics. Then they repeatedly disappear. See, that's the fucking shits. The one thing, like any radio station, if you have like a like a communal set of, of fucking head headsets, people wander off with them. It's like, I, I don't understand the fucking nerve of the people, like show hosts. Some of them come in, you have any headsets? Like, you're a show host, you should have your own. That's number one. Two, like, I could see if it's for like... Like a lawyer has a show or a doctor has a show, and he brings in whatever uh, another a business partner or something like that, or you know, the other lawyer that runs the fucking deal. Like, do you have any headsets for him? Yeah, we do. And then you know, he motherfucker goes to walk out with them. Like, whoa, whoa, hey, chief. Yeah, those aren't yours. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet you are. Like, whether they're draped around his neck or whatever, it's like, you motherfucking thief, you. I should talk to your partner and take you to court. Goddamn thief. But yeah, headsets would disappear all the fucking time. And adapters, too. Jesus Christ, that's no joke. Eighth to a quarter. Those adapters were always fucking gone. It's like, I got a headset, but it's got this small input. Kind of like the one I'm using here, actually. This would be a one-eighth. Let me just, I'll be mute for, oh, you know what else is funny here? Hold on, I might be able to show that off live. Hold on, let me, uh, let me literally reach behind the green screen. I think I have a fucking... Uh, hold it, hold it. Where is it? I thought I had it sitting here. This is gonna be great fucking stream video. Oh, yes I do. Why the fuck do I have an eighth to a quarter inch adapter for an audio, you know, for a headset? behind my green screen. Even I don't know. But let me show you here. I'm gonna unplug so it's gonna be muted, but... like we're back. But yes, these fucking adapters, they're worth gold in a fucking radio station. So are the headsets, but because so many fucking headsets have that little eighth inch adapter, or the eighth, uh, eighth inch uh, plug, these eighth inch to quarter inch plugs, these fucking adapters are priceless pretty much. Those and spare headsets would always be fucking gone, disappeared. And people always like, oh, I got a headset, but I don't have... I don't have the plug that goes to it. I'm like, that's not a surprise. Not at all. Oh, here's a dumb idea. Shoot the far one. Yeah, so they go and look at it. Oh, how the fuck? Well, how did I miss anything there? There we go. And they're all dead. Anyway. Worst part is, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, the wireless mics? They were owned by a church. Holy shit. I can't say I'm surprised there. I'm telling you, radio, it's... People are always, ooh, headsets. And just thieving shit all, all the time. Like, it, it does not surprise me, and it doesn't really matter. Like, it's just gonna end up gone. Oh. Like, what is that noise? Auto save? Auto save all you want. I have a monkey's paw to look at. Jeez, come on, Iron Claw. What do you got going for you? Cannot equip. Can I. How do I look at this? Press in this, okay, so it looks like, I don't know, what is that? A, 
A deer, an eagle, and a big thing? Sure, I'll give it a try. Oh, it's probably a wolf. Well, if it's not a deer, it looks like a dragon. What the hell did I say? Alright, so I thought it was antlers. Deer. It'll be an eagle and a wolf. Come on. And if not, then I don't know what I'm doing. There you go, unlock that shit, huh? Motherfucker. The church definitely had the money. They hosted uh, your school for assemblies and did lots of small concerts, but still, yeah. Swiping stuff from a church. Like, at this age, like, the only thing I'd really want out of a church is probably the wine. If I was gonna, like, steal anything. I don't know if that sounds bad. They're like, you'd steal anything from a church? I'd rather get that collection plate after a Sunday where everybody got paid. I mean, if it came down to it, dollars the donuts, oh yeah. I am not afraid to tell people the truth. Not to say that I would do those things, but still. at over 120. I mean, even if I get, like, 80 bucks for it, it's still better. Now, I got those three vials. I'm assuming that's, like, a quest thing. Wh where was that guy? And where did that little phantom thing take off to? Like, what the fuck? Remember that phantom I saw that I never found yet? <laughs> Around. What we got? Balthoom! Get back. Mm. Yeah. I should have read what he was telling me. I don't know. Collect the vessels. Two out of three. I thought I had all three. Oh no. Oh, that was the dragon priest then. That spirit I saw floating away. God damn it then. I knew those would be quest items. I knew it! Huh. Huh. Mind if I go pour myself a shot? I mean, I may as well, but... Okay. And this little carrot butt, you know, let me just, uh... Give that a toss aside. Oh, shit! Easy, controller! I mean, I could unplug the, the power cord. The 
USB plugged into my damn, uh, in my laptop. Shot of wild turkey American honey. You knew I've been doing it. I'm gonna go right back to it. sweet. That's the problem. And the, dude, that's a 1.75. That is a big bottle. Oh, shit. Falling on the controller. That is a big bottle. And I'm going through it kind of quick. It's the problem with good shit like that. Very sweet. Very delicious. Okay, so now that that's barred back up, like, I don't care, but... I thought I'd so like I uh, I thought I already had two of the things. Damn it! This sucks. And y'all are dead. That's where the thing was. The claw. The claw. No, no. Side note: I don't think I've seen Liar Liar in one full sitting. Pretty sure I've seen the whole movie. Because he got nice jugs. Was it nice jugs or big jugs? I mean, I remember the important parts to the movie, but... Garnet and gold. Isn't that the colors of Florida State? Plus, I heard they're under a big to-do right now. The trick is to find a $20 bottle. You, uh... You look at it like it was a $120 bottle. Well, that shit is a... I'll just show you. Hold on, let me unplug the power bit here. Now, for a flavored bourbon, I would look no further than this. Now, this was like maybe 30 35 bucks, but you can see it's a damn big bottle. It's pretty big. Well, you know, a 1.75, a handle. Most of them have a handle on the side another name reference to it, and like, I got that thing down there pretty decent, because it's... Oh, my shot glass is over there. Fuck it. <sighs> Dangerously tasty. I mean, so long as you like bourbon. But the honey flavor in this is so powerful. It's like, uh, yes, you do notice, uh, depending on your palate, you know, I know everything's not for everybody. But, uh, no, I, I don't find there to be much booze taste in there. And some people, that's a huge turnoff. Because, like, if I go to tell people, well, you know, Jim Beam is a pretty good bourbon. If you're just gonna, like, have a, have a shot, some people just, whoop, they're just throwing back the shot and, like, that's it. And, okay, fine, I get that I had that phase. I've been more connoisseur-esque with my, uh... I knew it. I knew it. I tend to, other than that chug right there, <laughs> I tend to slow sip even a shot glass of a shot. Just so I can get a taste for it and kind of, you know, ah, that's good. I noticed this. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's really smooth. Maybe, maybe it's whew, got too many of those fumes, that dragon's breath, I like to call it. Sometimes just there's a hint of sweet. Jameson, there is a hint of sweet behind that stuff, and it's fucking beautiful. But a bit pricey, but... You know, as, as an Irish whiskey, I believe it is, very good. Incredibly smooth, with just a hint of sweet. It's like, I'm kind of past that, uh, you know, that frat boy style drink till you fucking just go crazy, throw up, pass out, blackout kind of... I'm pretty much past that, so... And I get the people who still do that. It's just, I'm 35, I've kind of lived that life already. Didn't get me to very many good places. Never the police station, never the hospital, never to the funeral home, but... <laughs> now, I'm still just looking for that one damn thing. Well, that's that one, okay. Hmm. Where the spiders were. These are all stairs. Did I, uh. 
Was there one in this room that I didn't notice, didn't see, didn't get? Also, what's down here? Okay, that's nothing. Gotcha. What did I miss? <laughs> Slightly swill it around a bit. Well, I just, for, for me, it's just a slow sip. I mean, I don't do the whole sniff it up and kind of, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Just a little bit of a sip. Get, get the flavor for it. Throw it down, like, okay, that's good. I like that. I like where it's taking me. Or, that's a little heavy. I might never buy this bottle again. So this is this. I'm still looking for that other damn... Vile. Damn it. Or did I see the second one and not pick it up? It's apparently the case, because I've been uh, went through this whole spot. Oh, if we hit level 63, that'd be fun. I think we will. I think we will. This looks like a fun area, a little torture scene. Was it down in one of these spots and I just did not fucking notice it? Back this way where I don't remember even going? Nope, I've been here too. Son of a bitch. Huh. Taking the goddamn garlic, though. Oh, man, I put garlic on all my food lately. Woo! <laughs> Even my boss. I was having my, uh... My vegan meal. Had some, uh, garbanzo beans. Chickpeas, if you will. With some... And those are organic. Along with some brown organic rice. And then, uh, my, like some black pepper. I'll get that shit sprinkled on there, mix it up, you know, make sure it's in there good. Garlic powder. Even my boss today is like, what does that smell? I'm like, that's probably the garlic. Okay. And I'm like, hopefully it's not on my breath I was just eating. It's like, hmm. Anyway, talk about work stuff now. <laughs> like, hey man. If I gotta fire that shit out, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing it in your office. Just letting them fly. He said, what does that smell? Not like, what is that? You know, he almost sounded offended by the smell. Like, I haven't bathed recently. Not that I was a good bather to begin with, but I can always use an extra hand. So unless you're offering, I'm afraid that stink's gonna linger. Cause that's just how I roll. <laughs> now wait a minute. That looked like another bottle thing would have been there. And I thought I'd been through here already. So am I- I mean, I'm missing one by the count, yes. They got one in that big room just before we left out. I thought there was one prior to this. And now that being the third, I should have everything. Now that's the trapdoor down to the spiders. I don't know, like, it's bothering me because, okay, it's on my list of things to do. And I don't want to leave here without having it undone. Unless we go back to the beginning and the guy's like, Oh, I had the third one. Let's just, by chance, give that a fucking look. Hey, buddy. Got two of them. With those three vessels, have Nora have Why are you here? Blah, blah, blah. Why do you fear him? I'll kill him, don't worry. Find the three vessels within value. Then return to me. God damn it, I found two. That should be good enough. Why can't he walk any further than 20 feet past the door, huh? I mean, being a ghost must kind of suck. I was listening to a fairly interesting yeah. pile. Oh, that thing just cracked me right in the nose. As if I didn't know that was there. Um, I was listening to a podcast recently about... And if you're not into the supernatural and all that stuff, I get it. I get the whole seeing is believing thing, but then how do you explain God? Uh, whatever, I could poke holes in that argument too. But, um, 
somehow, like, you know, the ghost of somebody is, like, bound to an area. And it's like, why would you see... What? Ghosts in a graveyard. No. Like, why would they want to stand around, you know, in the same... Like, watching over their body. It's like, the, the guy was saying, if I was a ghost, peace, I'm going to, like... I'm going to fucking Hawaii. It's like, we don't really know these things. Like, you know, ghosts bound to a building, and they just can't leave. They don't know that they're gone yet, or whatever the case might be. You'll always hear about these old buildings from back in the fucking day. Okay, there's one. And I know about the one in the other room. The big room at the end. <laughs> but it's like, you'll hear about these, uh, oh yeah, well, there's a... This place has got the ghost of the previous owner from, like, the 1920s. This place was a bar. It still is. Like, in Boston or something. You know, like, the Northeast is just flooded with those kind of cool stories. Not all of them cool, but... You know, a lot of activity, let's call it. And it's like, well, he's bound to that building. Because he, whatever, he still thinks he's alive, or still, you know, he's still got work to do. And I kind of get those things. But it's like, yeah, if you had the choice, would you really sit around at work all day? Fuck no! I don't know how, how, how all that shit works, but the, the, to some degree, it's like... Yeah. The furthest west I've been is Minneapolis. I want to see the goddamn... And it's boring. Fine. Rocky Mountains, Mount Rushmore. Never saw it. Let me go see that stuff. Let me jump across and go see those things. Never been to L.A. Never been to San Diego. Heard it's fucking beautiful. I want to go there. Why can't you do that in the afterlife? Well, we don't know if we can or can't. <laughs> to that degree, not really been documented. But to sit around and watch... Yep, I'm still dead. Here I am in the graveyard. That's fun. Oh, and I heard a terrible joke. I mean, it, uh... <sighs> Excuse me. I mean, it got me to, like, kind of shake my head. Like, that's... I, I get it. And it's a lame-ass joke that I would tell, which is, it, I find myself doing that as well. A lame-ass joke that I would tell, I tend to hate. But if I'm the one saying it for some reason, oh, that's clever. <laughs> but, uh, the joke goes, a penny saved is a penny earned. And a cremation is a body earned. Cremation is a body earned. Oh! Right? To be fair, uh, it's the afterlife. We don't know any of it beyond... Yeah, anecdotal evidence. Yeah. I mean, you know, people that have seen ghosts, and I've seen some shit in my day, in my day, you know, like, I got a... Like, I got the proverbial foot in the casket already. But, uh... No, I mean, I've seen some... I've seen some good old stuff myself. But, yeah, it's just we don't know. And it's not like, you know, these... These beings are writing down documentary, like, no, 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 here's what happens, see? <laughs> and by the way, the black hole in outer space, go there. Get into a rocket ship and go to it, because it's awesome on the other side. You physically cannot come back because of the gravity pull, but it's so awesome on the other side. Trust me, you'll love it. <laughs> like, I can't even describe it, even with a bunch of Crayolas. It's so colorful and beautiful and vibrant. It's not what you think it is. The whole St. Peter thing at the gates and all that stuff, like that's, if that's the truth, if that's a crock, we don't know. But, to that argument of, you know, why would you want to stay standing around in the graveyard? Because people have said all, you know, since, however, the dawn of time kind of thing. Like, oh, there's ghosts in the graveyard. It's like, why would they want to hang out there? Yeah! Let's uh, fuck it. Check out. Never been to Haiti. I don't care. I know plenty of people that like got family there. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go up in the mountains there. Let's. You know who I want to. All right. Here's the stupid thing. I I'm not in that position to even try to begin to be this guy. But you know who I want to be when I grow up? Anthony Bourdain. That motherfucker goes everywhere. Eats all the cool food. Dude, I'm telling you. I I took one from here as well. I should have all three. I know I took one from here. There was that other missing one, and we're getting close to the third one in that big room where I where I learned the shout. This game's ripping me off. I or or when they shouted, did they knock it off the pedestal? 
I don't think the game would do that to me. But I know I got all three. Or at least I was in the rooms where all three of them were found. <laughs> Go on, get out. Mm. <clears throat> Almost a dad joke. <laughs> you have a good but somewhat offensive one. Alright, let me uh, let me check on this one. Oh my god, I can almost get this. Why are second generation French guns slash firearms in such good conditions? Because they never fucking used them. They always retreated. I'm guessing it's something along those lines. <laughs> huh. How would I get to the outside areas there? Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, this is... Yeah. They never fired them, they always retreated. Yup. Oh, my brother sent me a text. Bone meal gold? Oh, I was gonna say, if this guy had the fucking bottle on him. I thought I got this one, though. Like, the one that I don't remember getting was the one in that off room in the previous map setting. So unless they're, unless they're... <laughs> unless their shout is able to knock that thing off, that's the only way I think... I lost this thing. Hold on a second. So there's nothing else going on here. Don't I have a shout that like points me to my next mission objective or something? And my brother sent me a text. They've never been used, only dropped once. <laughs> my brother texted me with... Ha, huh, right. Kinda of forgot about some Monday Night Football. Of course, we are a Chicago family, so... Imagine where we're leading tonight. Never hated the Vikings, never hated the Lions. Just Green Bay. Anybody can win the division so long as it's not Green Bay. Yeah, but Aaron Rodgers, I mean, come on. The fucking guy's... he's awesome. He makes chicken salad out of chicken shit. Put Randall Cobb on fucking Jacksonville. He's not Randall Cobb. Put Jordy Nelson in fucking Cincinnati. Yeah, good luck to you, kid. You're surrounded by a bunch of fucking inmates now. Wouldn't be the same. Would not be the same. Uh, so as I fart around on my phone just to do a score check... Matthew Stafford throws his 200th career touchdown, and with... Dude, the game's pretty much over. It's 30-10. to 10. Detroit, as the French called it. But it sounds more American if you call it Detroit. Detroit. Where did I learn that from? Anthony Bourdain. Was it no reservations or was it parts unknown? That's the better question. Which show did I hear that from? Oh, it barely missed. Oh, that was close. Anyway, um... I was looking for a shout. Animal Allegiance, or a wisp. I have 26 Dragon Souls to fucking, like... I don't need Disarm. Your voice is not a shout, but a whisper, revealing the life forces of any and all. Yeah, give me that one. Um, changing your form to one that cannot harm or be harmed. So I turn into a ghost. Trade Vitality, that's no fun. Elemental Fury! Imbues your arms with the speed of wind, allowing for faster weapon strikes. Cool. Freezes an opponent solid. Soothes beasts who lose their desire to fight, or they flee. March for death! Um, should let your voice herald uh, tomb. Doom, sorry, as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. Slow time, that's cool. Storm call, throw a voice. Fooling those around you, unrelenting force. I thought there was a thing. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. So this thing is gonna now point me there because I did the thing? Come on, game. Did I lock up? What's wrong here? Come on, stop this shit. Stop it, game. Stop it! Collect the three vessels. Alright, well, now that it's marked... And I didn't think to do that earlier, so sure, shame on me, that's fine. 
Why can I not jump through there? Just fucking let me let me crouch and jump. Really? Game? Really, game? Seriously? Heading out, MVT. That's all good. Thanks for checking things out for the live stream. Let's play Skyrim tomorrow night. We'll see what we do. Might be the same thing, but either way, thanks for stopping by, man. I'll catch you down the road. More bullshittery and buffoonery. Maybe that's what I should call it. The Daily Dose of Mayhem, the live stream Let's Play. <laughs> Getting burned. You know. The bullshittery and buffoonery. Kind of works. Damn it, I'm in this fucking room again. That's typical of the French. Running away, falling down, it's the same old shit. Never use their rifles. Ah! Never. So here's where I get burned. I mean, it's pretty bad, like, I don't even care. It doesn't hurt, really. Hoo ha, excuse me. Am I getting closer? Because I don't know, I don't think I am. And we are once again back to this room. Alright, now let's fucking just do the fall down. Head it back this way. Am I going this way? Yeah, I've gone this way. Dude, hold on. Unless, oh, I'll bet you they knocked it off the pedestal. I'll bet you they fucking did, yep. God damn it. Well, there you have it, folks. I was right in one sense. I never picked it up from that one. But I saw it sitting there. Bothoom! We'll check on this. Matthew Stafford with his 200th career touchdown. And Marino, who's not even in the league, ended with <laughs> 420. But like Favre passed him. Manning passed him. It's like 200? Stafford, you've been around a long time. You only got 200? <laughs> like that's just my, I guess, arrogance. You found the vessels. Yes. I was worried that I had sent you to your death. Well, you almost did. I got hit in the face by a board. In life, Hevnorak drained his own blood from his body. His goal was... The vessels you want me to drink this? that very blood. I'm ready. I don't very care. Well. When you have done so, I will unbind Hevnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. So what do I do? I'm activating sconces. Oh, I didn't get to sit in the throne. This will summon him? That's fucking badass. Let's go, bitch. Let's go, bitch. Carrying too much, you gotta be shipping me. By how much? A fucking pound. No, I gotta eat some potatoes, right? <coughs> One of that was food, excuse me. Well, I remember this shit too. Why am I carrying this? 0.3 pounds and it doesn't fuck it. There's no value? I don't need that shit. Okay, buddy, I survived. Where are you at? I have his face mask thingy, too. Thank you, hero. Now, I may finally rest. 
Take of Norak's iron mask. Can't even escape out of this. Of use to you. That's how terrible they're getting and towards serve me. As some reward for your feet here. Woo woo! Completed evil in waiting. Alright, we're done here, right? Oh! When he disappears, we're done. Alright, cool. That was not that terrible of a deal. It's just the damn thing got blown off the, the thing. The ancient Nordic pickaxe. Oh, I was supposed to distribute those, wasn't I? Yep, shouldn't have drank them. Let me go back and, like, reload a file, I suppose? Because that's not cool. What are we at, 11.21 p.m.? 11.17? That's the most recent one. But now that I know where I'm going, it's it's not such a terrible thing. I have to distribute those things. Like, I don't even know where the fuck they go. Was that back in DLC land? Because I don't remember. Not at all. Didn't get my level up. Remember these were in the big boy room. Where am I headed back already? You found the vessel. Yep. I was worried that I had I sent don't you worry, to guy, I got this. I got this. In life, the vessels contain very I'm ready. well. When you have done so, I will unbind Hevnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. Activate, I say. But God damn it, man. Is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. I am ready. Let's go. Blood and the throne. Kill this guy. No, I, I can just eat the food stuff. What's up, buddy? Oh, you're gonna take away my magic, huh? I really don't use it, so I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, bitches! And your fucking staff. Or is it a staff? Potato, I even need some ingredients. Mm -hmm. Bone meal's useful. Eat some spider eggs? Ooh. Want some frost miriam? That help? I think so. Thank you, hero. Now. I may finally rest. Take of Norak's iron mask. It may be of use to you, and serve as some reward for your feet here. Oh yeah. Completed. Are right, we done here? Can I move? There you go. Disappear, tough guy. Oh, I bought that level up, huh? Magic, uh, health, or stamina. I still say just stay on the health. I, you know... Whatever it is, right? Smithing could be legendary. Enchanting is 99, motherfucker. Speech! Well, this has got to get itself up to 90 at least, right? Can barter stolen goods with any merchant you have invested in, and I will be an investing son of a bitch. Like, that's the one I should save for, honestly. Pickpocket is going to eventually sort itself out. Lockpicking has been a bitch. Sneak, I'll get that one going back again. I will. Light armor, 99, but I'm not going to touch it. Archery, I don't think that's such a terrible thing to worry about right now. Like, I need to worry about, uh, speech. Speaking of other quests I've got to do... I can collect the bounty, yes. Let's do that. So I killed myself a giant. Hope they're happy on that one. And they fucking better be. It's a giant. You had a bounty. I killed it. Gimme. I have not seen a gargoyle yet, but again, that's going to be in DLC land, which we haven't started that either. 
Haven't started our path up in Sol's theme. Sol's time. Not even sure how to say it, but we gotta go there. <coughs> Pardon me. Dragon's Reach, here we go. Oh, I got it. <coughs> Woo. He's up here. Water. Oh, yeah. Quick text to my brother. <clears throat> Ew, no, I don't know I'm spelling. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Don't set anything on fire, all right? Dude. You should worry about me. Don't set anything on fire! My god, I haven't even started anything with the companions! There's there's a lot to this game that I haven't done, haven't started with. I'm level 63. And I'm almost like, I could just probably whiz through this game if I started the fucking main plot. I was like, that'd be great. The companions in this game are pretty much the, uh, it's, it's like the Fighters Guild, how the previous games were. You know, you go around, someone's like, oh my god, I gotta fucking, something's attacking my, uh, lives, it's like some wolves or some shit, you do all that stuff. Buddy, wake up. Wake up. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you- Giant's dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. I know I have. Here is your reward. Thank you. Enjoy your visit bucks. to Dragon's Reach. Oh my god, what? What am I, like, what am I carrying now? What did he give me? Hundred gold should not weigh me down. Should not. What do I know? Oh no, all the books would have been done already. Reanimate a weak, dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. Heals the target 45 points, but not undead. Atronox or machines. All targets in the air that fail to resist are paralyzed for 10 seconds. How about this one? Um. Well, what a script is like a one fucking. It's a one off. I have some bullshit. Yeah, weak poison. Oh, yeah, put that on the blade. Oh, yeah. That help? Half a pound. That was it. From crawling speed to fucking normal running speed. Okay, now what else we got to do around here? Um... This one I was interested in, and I don't know, maybe that's in DLC land, I don't know. I don't want to adopt people of Falkreath, a bunch of those. Join the Imperial Legion, or join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Which one? Speak with the leader of the Companions. Boy, do I start that right now? I've learned of a group of vampire hunters known as the Dawn Guard. It seems they are looking for new recruits. You know, vampires have been trying to fucking get after me, so let's... Sure. Sure, I say. I say sure. But of course, because we're here in, uh, Whiterun. Oh yeah, that feels good. Get all those diseases off of me. The inventory management dump. At the old Breeze home. Oh, I'm just all like backresting. Like, look at all this lumpy shit behind me. Looks like I'm sitting on a pile of mashed potatoes. Oh, but if I were sitting on a pile of mashed potatoes. Oh. 
Uh, well, there's a lot of shit I gotta sell, actually. This is not stash away material. Is this not a favorite? Oh no, I have that in. Oh, dragon. Yeah, that's heavy. I'm sorry, that's what's in the chest. What do you need, my thing? What I need, Lydia, never mind. Never mind. You know what? Let me, let me pass out my bed here, because I never sleep in this game. Generally, just wait. Get it about towards 8 o'clock. There, sit down, have a sweet roll. You're all right. Honor to you. What is she, a Breton? Is that the, uh, is that the race that she's a part of? See, they're kind of interesting. They have a an, an odd, tan-ish kind of skin tone. It's like the Red Guards are, they're they're sort of uh, Arabic by uh, clothing design. But you call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Really? It's your funeral. The gods will be the judge of that. Hey! He never said with magic. Completed. Kill Challenger. He wanted that. Greater Soul Gem. Some lock picks there. Oh, yeah. Got a ring out of it. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm weighed down. The ring. The ring did it. You. Lady, come here. I got shit to sell. Take care. You're somewhat looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Oh, yeah. Um, zero damage, weight of eight. I mean, I don't want to get rid of shit like this. Spray it on the garden creates a wall of lightning that does 50 points of shock damage per second. Woo! Orcish bow, take it. Orcish war axe of shocks. Yeah, take it. I don't need it. Fire bolts, you need to give me some stuff. I'll take some ore. Mm -hmm. I'll take leather, because I'm an idiot. No, his weapon. What the hell was it? Staff of Fireballs. Take it! And if not scrolls, uh... I can't sell those. I mean, I could if I wanted to send my fuck myself over. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Lady, don't worry. I'll check. I'll check, I swear to God. That's the stuff. Now with the ore, get that shit going right now. Right now! Damn shit. Woo! Got some good pieces out here. Oh, uh, there's probably nothing new more for inside. me to deal with there. If this guy's got more money, why the fuck not take it? Can deal with this stuff just fine. We've got small. The finest weapons and armor. What do you really have? Silver, which I think I'm good to get doubled up on now. Oh, baby. Speech increased to 89. Jesus Christ, 89? And it just hit 89. Like, it's a long way to go. Want a frostbite venom? Good doing business with you. Sure it was. Jeez, I need to get speech to ninety. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in life. You're not. Don't worry about it. You're not. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a chance. No, I, I, you know, using iron to build up a house. Have you met my father? He's a that is useful. So I'm not against taking as much iron as fucking possible. I'm not. Oh, Benathor, you son of a bitch, you. Got something for just about everybody in here. 
Give a holler. Like, what about the questions? freaks? You and me. What about midgets? You got anything for midgets? You said, well, he did say just about everybody, so can't fault him on that note. But it's filled. Greater, but it's filled. Okay, what, uh, that's good, that's good. Arrows, arrows, bolts, arrows, arrows, stuff. Can't sell that. Should not sell that, that is. Ebony shield, whoop whoop. Cannot sell that, I should dump those off. Yeah, sell those. See, in these rings, I can always imbue them with stuff. Sell that. You see, what did they say that was, 125? What did I figure, 80? I'm not quite as good as I thought I was. Cure disease healing. Magicka, take them. Stamina. Take both blockers. Healing. Increased by 20 points for this amount of time. No, see, that's the shit I don't need. I need just straight up motherfucker give me health now. Regeneration is okay. I can sit with that for a bit. Healing Magicka. Jesus. That brings a good amount of coin in. Scrolls, uh, yeah, 152, that's cool. Food, I can't get rid of that food. Bone meal has got some good, uh, some good stuff going. Yeah, I just save all this. That's not such a big deal. I say that, but the weight's probably gonna kill me at some point. You know, uncommon tastes or whatever that... I should sell that. Got a lot of things I'm just kind of semi-holding on to here. Do come back. He says it so creepily. See, now I gotta go up to Dragon's Reach and, uh... Do I have anything that I can put fucking spells on? I mean, yeah, I got rings, I suppose. Goddamn crier out there just going nuts because he's fucking nuts. I made the run all the way here. Pretty good. And there's like vampire fuckers out there, killers and stuff. Like, gotta go see about the what the the dawn guard. I think it is. Why are they the dawn guard? Like they should love the dawn because then that's when Dracula goes back to sleep. What they should be is like the fucking... Like the Nightfall guard, or something. <coughs> Nobody saw me steal that, right? I don't even know Divine where he is. Divine smile on you, friend. What? What? Where are you at? Where'd you go? It's like he's in here, but he's not. Don't know where you were. Come to Dragon's Reach. But I'm glad you didn't see me stealing things. Like the rest of the great warriors. Alright, so Soul Gem 500, is that our maximum? Seems like it. So let's do that. The item is only worth 260? Eh, whatever. Six fifty six. That's great. One handed. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the way to go. Yep. Oh, yeah. One handed. I'm not saying we're going to get there. This next one just might do it. 100, that's all we got? 350. Give me a good one, huh? Don't, don't fucking skimp out. We're gonna make this shit happen. Enchanting increase to 100! Good. So you know what I could do with that level up is put enchanting now to two things per. You know what I mean. Let, let, me, let me show you, because I just might do that. 
Now that enchanting is 100. Put two enhancements on the same item. Now, granted, we are fairly powerful the way it is. But if you can put, like, a health regen and extra carrying weight on something, like, think about that for a minute. I mean, I kind of want to take this right now. Well, yeah, because speech has got a long way to go uh, to hit 90. So, yeah, let's just do this then. Fuck it. I mean, I have so many extra materials for stuff and things. But, like, picture how good the use of this will be now. now if I go to my items and I check the apparel, uh, the ring I've got, one-handed, is plus 40%. Like, some of this can get doubled up. Like, this is what, one-handed does another 40. I don't know if you can double up the same thing. But, well, I can get a ring now. Potentially, these probably aren't the best uh, items to do so. Uh, okay, so that might be different. But, okay, on that necklace, I can put two things. One of which can be one-handed. Ah, 26%. Okay, so maybe the, uh, the soul gem also has something to do with that. Or maybe it is just a shitty item. Either way. I don't think I'll be making this, uh... Legendary, at any rate. Because now with the extra shit we got going, like... We can really make some good stuff. As if we had bad things, you know what I mean? Like... A bunch of health regen thrown on some, like, armor items and... Uh, just, just... Think of the possibilities! Fortify speech. <laughs> when I start you selling shit, it's gonna be really what good. Brings you to the market? Well, nah! Not that I needed to blast my way home, but still. I, oh, I got a couple of things I can throw into the, uh... Into the thing, you know? Into the thing. I think there was that staff and that mask. Uh, well, one big weapon, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Put you away. And apparel would be Das Mask. So I got a lot of stolen shit too. That's probably not helpful. Hmm. But what if I were to make my own stuff? What kind of shit do I have in the chest? Like, there's a lot to take in with that whole thought of... Okay, scales and bones. Like, I can make a much better sword. Well, not so much a better sword, but... I mean, if my sword currently is doing what? Stamina damage. Well, I don't need it to do that anymore. Like, if I were, just for argument's sake... I am your sword and your shield. And I, I suppose I'll go and show you this just for fun. If this dead guy's still out here. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he Thanks. was a friend of yours. Thanks. Looks like that's it. Got to go. This dead guy's no longer here with that steel dagger that was sitting there. Son of a bitch. Can I make the cheapest of fucking things here? Probably make some jewelry, honestly. It's worth 280. I see everything else like I'm not holding on to it is the thing. Like I don't have the materials to make. Why well, do it just I don't have them on me? A steel dagger. Do I just make this just for the argument? I suppose I could, because I was gonna show you. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, motherfucker. So I got that steel dagger. Looking like a pretty good piece, right? I just want to show you how that goes. Now, granted, I don't think this dagger is... Well, I don't think the gems... Uh, not the gemstone, the, uh... 
the soul gem is of the highest value that we can get right now, which does make a difference. Don't get me wrong. Reconnecting to the chat, what are you talking about? Everything's good. Come on, stream. Come on, stream. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. I ain't licking nothing to your father's except maybe his wife's cooch. What's that kid know? Anyway, so if we take the legendary silver dagger, we get our best soul gem, which is priced at 350. And the enchantment. Now, uh, yeah, this isn't going to look great for all of it. Oh, 25 points. Oh no, this suggests it might do 10. But you can do... Look at that, you can do fire and frost damage with these things. You can... Soul trap. That's awesome. And granted, this is just for a dagger, so you can't do everything. You can't fortify lockpicking with the... Uh, you know, with the damn... Yeah, you get it. You get it. While the moons are out, burns the target for 10 points. <coughs> I mean, Soul Trap is a fun one. And who knows. But you get the idea. Soul Trap and, and shock damage. Well, and of course... You can see 564, that'll make it 660. 716. 740. Woo! So there you go. Magic and stamina damage would put this little... It's a legendary dagger, but still 740 fetching price. But you could put Soul Trap on there, and I just, shock damage just looks cool, but... Um, boy, magic of damage... Fire, I suppose, just because it's extra fucking damage, right? So you're soul trapping and doing fire damage every fucking try. Every every swing until you would refill that thing. Now on armor, it's a little different, obviously, and I guess I can show you what those necklaces Come to Dragon's too. Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Like because the that's a thing. Warriors. And again, go to our big 350. That's probably the better one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, necklace at 60, but what are the enchantments here? Fortify alchemy. Ooh, potions are better. Fortify alteration, so the spell costs less. Destruction. Um, health regenerates faster. 20% faster with this. 20%. That, that's pretty good on its own. Uh, heavy armor skill is increased. Illusion. Light armor. Lock picking. 26% easier. How do they figure that? I don't know. Magic has increased, uh, its ceiling has raised 41 points. One-handed, you do 26% more damage. Um, smithing is 16% better. Resist fire, frost, and all that stuff. So picture, like, one-handed damage. Well, the healing rate, to me, is a big one. I mean, there are those rare times where, like, hmm, I'm getting a little beat up here. And you can't double up the same one thing, so they're... Okay, so healing rate, and fortify one-handed. So your health regenerates 20% faster. Just with this, like I said, a much better item, and a much better soul gem, with a much better soul in that soul gem. Health regenerates 20% faster, that's cool. And one-handed attacks do 26% more damage, like, that's fucking great. Like, you can go several different routes with this. I mean, if you want lockpicking... And, uh, smithing. Cool. You can do so many combinations now that I have the ability to put two enchantments Come to on one piece. To the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great Lesser. Warriors. Mm. That stinks. Yep. Always got nothing on him. But that's the kind of fun you can have with... Enchantment. Now, finally, just as we hit, goddamn, level 63, that's the thing that we boosted up. Now, we can make it legendary and start all over again, but that would be just too stupid, I think. Although, not really, when you think about it. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword. So I because I can make a couple of things right here, probably, well, but to get us back to 100. I'm not saying it would take us to get to a level 126. 
but you never know. I mean, blocking is one thing that I can always just reboost and boost and boost and boost and just gain unlimited levels because of that. That alone, I think, is a pretty decent go. I like that we got this tree fixed up, too. That's cute. Well, there's a the little deal of the Dawn Guard, but, you know... What do you need, my friend? Who? I mean, we did some small stuff in this episode. Am I thinking of shutting down? I kinda am, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but... What, do I have to sell a bunch of crap? Why haven't you left yet? Nope. Sorry. And what does he give us? Well, that's obviously a, uh... That'd be a book, considered? Someone's afflicted note. I don't know. Bounty? Hmm. All the able-bodied men and women will run. The bandits located in Red Run's retreat have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. Why do I still have this bounty? I don't need it. Wasn't there a letter from a friend? One of these has got to be new. Find the source of power in Shriekwind Bastion. Well, we know all about these fun spots. Which is something we can check on. Maybe not just this second, though. I think I have more things to sell than I do otherwise. Every time I come into town, it's like, I got all this stuff, dude. I got 400 bucks. And I got like two thousand dollars worth of things. Something you bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Uh, blade of woe, which I do like as a dagger. I'll probably hold on to that thing for a good long time. Just well, and then there's eh, there's other things. Oh, you want that? Just just take it. There's nothing on there. It's not a joke. It's not a gimmick. One-handed attacks do 40% more. Well, what, uh... Okay, it's the same thing. But because that's a gold emerald ring as opposed to a silver amethyst, there's where your fucking dollars, you know, and, and the rating of that thing is coming in. Did I seriously make these things? Oh, yeah, that's what put me over the top. Woohoo! Way to remember stuff, Mike. 517. Wow. But 40% seems to be the max, so... Well, all right then. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what? I bought all that leather and the ore and all that shit, so I got extra bars on me. That's where the extra weight is. That's what that's all about. Have a fascination with fire, do we? Sure do. Bend over. Fascination with fire. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Shut up, Nazim. If that is your real name. Well, we are a maximum enchanter right now. Huh. I'm sleepier than I thought. Right, that's stolen, so that kind of stinks. I gotta put that away. Uh, put away the ingot. Put away the amethyst. And the three garnets. And the other three garnets. Ooh, 104,000 gold. Soul gems I'm holding on to just because... I know that's kind of a lot of weight holding on to. Iron claws done. Iron ingot, put them away. Leather strips. Leather and the strips, excuse me, put them away. Ruby, silver. Holding on to that skull. God damn it. 176 weight, and I think we started somewhere around 180. Start of the episode, I'm saying. Long life to you. But, yeah, well, we are a, a master enchanter now. So that's good. Again, not sure exactly what uh, what pathway we'll be going down, but, yeah, probably shutting down time for me. This chick likes me. But, uh, well, we, we do have another little side quest we could start up the companions we haven't started. The, uh, the Civil War, as it were. Which, uh, and that's... That's gonna be down the road stuff, that really is. You get about a you know two hours worth of stuff and become a master enchanter. I'd say we got something good accomplished here. It wasn't just bullshittery. We got some things taken care of. But I think that's decent enough for us right now. Courier, aren't you gonna go anywhere? Nope. 
Sorry. Nothing. Your face looks like shit. So dirty. So dirty. Hmm. I love it somewhere. Is that the mountain where the fucking monks live? I think so. It's gotta be. It's the highest mountain. Way in the fuck up there. Woo. Jesus. Well. The monks. You know, the old shouty guys. Well, we are a master enchanter, so if there's anything we can hold our hat on for this episode, it's definitely that. Without question. So I guess that's where we leave things. Want to thank MVT. Want to thank Melberries. And even Vapor Trails was in here. First guy saying hey, all together. Thanks for checking things out here live on Twitch. Anybody who checks it out episodically at your own You've leisure as you watch on YouTube. It might suit you. A little bit here. A little bit. But, uh... We are a master enchanter. That's the good news. So now the shit that we make from now on, so long as it's a good soul in that soul gem, we're gonna have some really good equipment. We'll See now. Right run and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Shut up, guy. See now the thing is, we can remake all the armor and all the weapons that we currently have on and equipped with us, because now we can put double mother. the powers with it all. It's fun Shut those up! Days. I'm trying it's to roll out here. Son of a bitch. Jeez. Didn't this old lady help us with a thing here? By Sithis, but you are a persistent one. Haven't I told you enough? Apparently not, but oh well. Looking up at the mountains. Yeah. But we are indeed a master summoner, which is great for me. Because, as I was saying, you know, the, the pieces that I'm already wearing, all the dragon scale stuff, and the dragon bone sword, and the and the fucking bow and arrow, like, think about that. We can really make a lot of good stuff with those things. Stuff with things, that's what you're supposed to do in life. Make stuff with things. And that's just a good shot. Let me quick save, just to... get that taken care of. And with that said, hey, as a master enchanter... I think I've been saying it wrong. Have I been saying summoner the whole time? I don't know. A master of enchantment. That's where we head out for now. So, as per usual, you know the routine. MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's going to take place. I'm not really sure what game we'll be playing the next time you and I cross paths. All I do know is that I will indeed catch you down the road. Beautiful mountains.